got laying here in my Glock 23 that I uh, polished four years ago. And kind of remember what I, how I did it, but it's a little bit vague. And I've kind of, and I been wanting to tell everybody how I did it, but it's hard to, uh, to get the time to do this right between my job and all. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try, this is probably going to suck, I'm going to try to show you all how I did it. With the polished barrel, I, I can't get, um, I tried to do this at work and couldn't get it done, but it's got the real shiny polished barrel on this Glock 23. And this video is probably going to run a long time, I can't help it, but anybody that wants to watch, I'm going to try to tell you how I did it. I'm struggling with this. Believe me, I'm struggling because I don't think I've got the time to put into it to, to, to get everything exactly right between trying to work. But, and this is an early, uh, I think it's made, I looked it up, it's made in like, it's in the early 90s. So they've, they've changed how they, they treat these uh, slides and barrels. So, I've got a brand new, I actually got two brand new uh, Gen 4 C models. And so, I said, well, I got two of them, and it, look, and it looks really cool in the C models, where you can see, see the barrel shining. And yeah, I can't get, this is not what I film at, I can't get the light set up, but just, just bear with me. Uh, I'll, so I take one of them. I'm gonna get this one's never been fired. I'm gonna probably trade it and show. Take one of them and show you how how I did it. Well, all right. Here's what I, I don't know how to even start off here. So what I would use was to, to strip that uh, finish. I think it's a melanite they use now. It, the Glock is so secretive on how they do stuff. That's why I got that one video if you go back when I did when I first did this one I called Glock and asked them if I took the finish off what it would rust because I you know I didn't want to strip it for the rust they wouldn't tell me the the, the amount of chromium in in a uh, steel is what keeps it from rusting that turns it to stainless and you know most metals with uh, if you're gonna paint it there's no need for that you can you can go with a, mo a metal that's better quality, or, or instead of the chromium, if you're going to paint it. You know what I'm saying? As, instead of trying to keep it the stainless and use and use the weaker chromium. But I'm, I'm going to totally mess up here. I'm trying to. I'm uh, white uh, this plain on distilled vinegar to strip the coating. Uh, we got mother's polish for polishing. It don't have to be that. Just any kind of polish. I got that to try. This this liquid diamond here looks good on works good on stainless and, and chrome and stuff. I got that to try. Uh, got a little bit of rouge. I think I brought the, the this is brown rouge. I think I should have had green, but I couldn't find it. Uh, 2000 grit sandpaper, which is so fine. I mean, you, it's, it's so fine. And some 3000 grit. And I'm, if I ramble on, I can't help it. I'm going to have to try to do this without being and telling y'all something completely wrong. But uh, when I first did this gun, it, it, like I said, it was four years ago, and this is a Gen, uh, Gen 3. And they've changed the finish since they made this gun. And I uh, started yesterday on this. And that new that new coating that they put in on new barrels is way harder to get off than it was on this one. I soaked this one in vinegar and probably, I can't even remember now, I'm alive, I tell you the exact time. But I think in two time, in like two hours, it was ready to come off. You could just rub it off, but that new, uh, this brand new Gen 4s, I soaked it, I put it in 530, and I checked it after an hour, it was still black, 
in another couple hours and another thing I forgot to tell you too. Uh, number four steel wool. I think that's the finest you can get. That way you won't scratch the steel. In, in between like an inch hour, I would take this number four and rub it off. See how it was going, and it would still it would still be black after. With my Gen One, uh, man, the stuff was off like like a blued finish, like a bluing would. So apparently, these these new ones that I don't know it is super tough. So uh, getting to that, unless you just really want the the nice shiny barrel, that finish is so damn good. On these new ones unless you, you want the shiny look and you know I wouldn't even fool with it but I had to I have two of these and I debated on even in which one of my guns to do but anyhow let's see I put that uh, get you a little plastic container here's that barrel off the the new gen 4 Glock 19 C that I bought but it's been soaking. I put it in at 5:30, and I wiped it down every like every hour, and take a t and, and I take this toothbrush and rub it around. See how it's kind of black in there? Well, that's that finish in it. I, and and uh, I did it till uh, I actually had it polished last night about uh, uh, probably about six hours in. Took it out and polished it, but it wouldn't quite. To the level of this, so uh, I fell asleep and I was gonna put it back in. And, and you gotta be, you know, try to t figure out how to time this, right? With well, the vinegar, I don't think the vinegar affects the steel at all, but it will take. If, if you got like a rusty bolt, put it in vinegar. It take all the rust off. Uh, bluing, do not get vinegar on your blued surfaces because it will it will take it off. Uh, but this daggum melanite, I think it's, I'm not sure. I tried to, Glock is so secretive on her stuff. I, that melanite is so damn tough. And you might do a little bit, more, little bit more research and figure out a way to get it off quicker than what I have. But it was tough. It didn't come off like I expected. So anyway, I put, like I said, I put it in at 530. I scrubbed it every hour and Took it back out at night and tried to at about, about nine and tried to polish it and I got it for a decent look. What well, was shiny, but 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 nowhere near the shine. Well, that ain't it. Nowhere near the shine is this is my old 23 and I know the lighting sucks here, so you're gonna be able, probably gonna be able to see. But it didn't have what this has. So before I left to work today, I put it back in again to leave it some more, and it's turned all back black but I'd take that uh let's see what we got here take this brush and brush it all in always coming right off but nothing like one thing about this i guess if you're gonna if, if it's you you're gonna have to be patient with it this vinegar is as acidic and it will take that off or if you was uh don't get impatient. I guess you could probably sit with some polish and polish and polish and polish it until it come off. But the main thing is to get that finish off. And like I said, this this is only if you want a shiny barrel. If you want a good tough finish, leave it like it is. Alright. See how it's kind of gray looking now? It's probably the bit the lighting is probably terrible and I can't help that but you're gonna get the general idea of how I'm doing this and the only thing be when I, when I had it finally shiny last night the serial numbers where they stamped in right there was down deep in there I couldn't quite get it out to, to the way I wanted it We'll sit here and scrub it a second. In this video, that, this there's no way I'm gonna be able to do this short in a short period of time. No way.
but all it, all it takes is a little bit of uh, just a little bit of work. My my only worry with this one is sometimes like like on like on my 40, I had to do a little bit of sanding, and it's got that flat hood. Well, that's not it. It's got a flat hood. These new ones just got that little slot in the middle. I knew that was going to make it tough if you had to do any sanding. Because if I have to do any sanding, I don't want it. It's got to be super fine. Only enough to take the finish off. Not to not any steel. Not any steel. We don't want to take any steel off. And then I see other people too. They're talking about, well, what, what if it's doing that to the barrel? What's it doing to the inside? I really doubt it's doing anything. I did not clean the barrel before I put it in here. It had a coat of oil in it. But if you're really, really worried about it, uh, pack the barrel with grease, Vaseline, anything to keep the vinegar from going in there. If 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 you rub grease all through there, it's not going to get on it. But this being a slotted one, it's going to be a little bit tougher. Oh, I can hear how the I can hear the hate now. Oh, you stupid! You should have did this. Should have. Ah, man, I'm trying. I'm on. I don't make nothing off of doing this, so I'm just gonna really try. When I get done with this, if the camera don't die on me some crap like that, I, I gotta go in there and uh, get back to my regular job for tomorrow. Okay, it's all gray looking and crap. When when I did my old one, it had more of a uh, more of a blued, and, and and you could just rub it off with your hand. But you see all that black stuff in there. That's that. Um, that's the melanite or whatever it is. And they say like the tenifer is down in the steel, so you ain't gonna kind of worry about that. From what they say, it's heated into the steel, and this old. 40 is that I did polish is the smoothest of all my locks. The smoothest. And it has and I've had it for I did that five years ago. Never never spot a rust. Never never spot. So and that's why I was talking about I had that video where uh called Glock and they're asking about and I was like, we can't tell you because uh, I didn't want to do it and it rust. Alright. So when you when you get it down to and and, uh, and different models they 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 uh, they come out different. I did have uh, when I did my 40, it had lines in the very top, right here, and I did had to take some uh, and sand them at least a little bit. But it, I don't know if my lighting would catch it or not. But with that 40 stamp in there, it's still there. That's and I'm not going to sand it enough to that, that would come out. So. It was very lightly, so if the 40 still stamped in the in the breech there, or the barrel, you know I didn't sand it much. All right, all I'm gonna have to do over here, and I'm looking behind the camera. I don't know if I don't I'll do something to mess y'all up, but uh, it looks like crap right now, to be honest with you. Okay, so and like I said, my only worry is right in here. And your lockup is, is in your breech face. You're, you're not going to touch that in here in your breech face. And, and another thing too, don't go get you some 80 grit sandpaper and start sanding on this. Start if you could start with polishing in minimums at first to get to where you want. Do the, the very minimum to get it to where you want it, and then you ain't got to worry about messing it up. Don't start with some 100 or 80 grit sandpaper and grind it down and then you're just trashing it. So, that's what I'm trying to do here. I, I had this all set up at my shop with good lighting now all the day, but like I said, uh, it didn't, uh, th this finish didn't come off like it did on my old Glock. This is tough. So what I'm going to do right now, I mean it's trial and error, but I have not done nothing that would ruin the actual barrel other than its finish. I, all I've trashed right now is the finish of the barrel. And I thought we could have done a bunch of my locks to, to perfect this, but I'm not going to uh, polish the barrel on every one of my locks to get this right. My videos are, that my videos, I don't get paid for videos, so.
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right. Four stainless steel uh, wool. I'm going to take a piece of this and rub that and see how much of that black comes off. I hope the water sound don't mess everything up. We'll see what happens right here. And hopefully I don't get out of the camera. And like I said, if I, if I was worried about my, my grooves inside, just take and pack it with grease or something. And I know trying to do this real time is going to like be really consuming, but and you can even I don't care fast forward to you know and it's going to give you the general idea. And this this back side right here is in, is going to be inside your. Uh, slide you're not going to see it so you ain't going to worry about it so much uh and here on your uh what is it the locking lugs with the lugs but uh shit you're not going to see that my, my biggest concern was this little notch right here to try to get all the blacking out of it and that might be a uh, tough one And this number four is so fine. You can scratch paint with it, but there's no way in hell you're going to scratch the steel with it. Look at it. It ain't even taking the damn uh, finish off. Uh, it was too hot. Can't take it. I don't know. Just give me credit for trying for y'all. Just show you what I did. That's all I ask. All right, the the super fine steel wool is not going to get us where we want to be, right? And I'm going to tell you, when I did that old gen Glock, I believe it would. All that shit come off. All of it. So apparently this is one hell of a finish. That's smooth. That's smooth, man. You can run it right there. This slick is me. Alright, so that super fine steel wool is not going to get us where we want to be. Right, so I got a used piece of 3000, which is flexible. And if you sand on stuff, you, you kind of get a, if you sand a lot, I do a lot of polishing, I mess with my trucks, polish stuff on the vehicle and stuff, you, you get a general eye feel general idea of a feel when you're polishing something. Oh, the, I don't know, maybe it's the bite of it. But this is just 3,000. And you can see the shine starting to come in. And I want to get the very tip of the barrel right there, so I'm kind of... And this is, a, this is kind of a worn piece of 3,000 too. I'm going to have a damn hour video, and I can't help it. I'm out. I can't help it. You can kind of go around, and it, this, man, you this this is like it's, it's just like you're not doing shit. It's polishing. It's not taking no steel off. It, it's barely taking any finish off. Barely taking any finish off. And, and and I noticed on this one too, like 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 that one, my old one, it had some machining grooves in it. See the, what I don't want to do right here is touch any of these stampings. Do not I, I mean you might not give a shit, but you don't want to touch any of these stampings. Uh you, you're not messing with back here where it locks up. You don't, you don't want to take this edge off rough right here. 
you have to if you want to get get like right down in that little flat spot find you something uh, perfectly flat and go easy it's all time time and patience say you doing here's what I had to do with my old Glock that had the machining grooves in it I had to, like take a piece of 2000 stay on a good this is nice perfectly flat keep the sandpaper wet and just do it like that I'll get some in the camera don't don't try not to do this way hold it on get something flat and, and then that's flat you know it's flat because you're going flat to flat and you may have to do a 2000 because I, I notice on this one right here they, they use a few little marks in there that polish will not take out without some sanding but I'm going see I'm going flat to flat so I ain't going to worry about messing up the shape of it or nothing I'm not on that on that one of the edges to affect any lock up I'm just trying to get some of the machining right there And 2000 is is really fine. See, see my hand. I mean, I mean, patience, patience. Little at a time, little at a time. That way you don't mess it up. And just remember what I said about the if you're worried about the inside of your barrel, pack it, pack it full of grease. That uh, vinegar won't go in there. Alright. And I know probably, I may have to, this is, we're already 22 minutes in. I may have to do they, they some little bit of swirls in there that might bother me. And it's, you know, do it the how it's good to suit you. So I'm going to kind of, that 3000 is so fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna heat it a little bit with this 2000. Rotate, smooth. There's no way in hell it's removing any steel, not with 2000. It's, <laughs> no way. Oh, and oh, my sock, oh. One thing I want to talk about, like my, uh, I know I ain't got, I ain't got shit for subs. I'm like my 300 subs. Uh, that last SIG video I did with SIG P320 with the fails. Man, that's, that's a joke. That's a, if you like that gun, that's cool. Rocks ain't my only gun. I got all kind of revolvers. I got an FN. This is the same as a SIG. I love it. I'm the same as a SIG. Same as a Glock. But uh, having mostly uh, my Glocks, I have so, man, I got so many mags. I'm gonna buy mags. Let me get it. This is this three thousand is almost wore out. Let me grab a new piece. That was something else I had in the shop. Keep it under water like that too. It keeps uh debris. And uh, it's like polishing anything, man. And I, and I will tell you, my my 23 barrel was easier. This finish, the steel, it ain't the steel. Was that that finish is is super tough. This is purely for looks. If 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 uh, nothing else. If you want the best uh. Best leave that cracker finish on there, man, because it is it is awesome. Yes, I'm I'm doing by hand on here because I'm on uh, three thousand. I can't I can't even do a fingernail with this three thousand. It's like using uh polishing. I know it ain't doing nothing. It's, it's 
but I, I will have to do more to, to, to get the shine that that other that, that 43 has I'm, I'm not I'm trying not to hit this edge right there see and you can sit in here and you can, if, if you got Dremels and stuff like that you, you can do your feed lamps uh, feed lips feed grant right there and still got the finish on it see you can sit in there and polish it a little bit more too but that like I said it's, it's still got melanite on it so that stuff is so slick what I'm what I'm doing is actually just purely cosmetic and it looks pretty badass on the compensated pistol where the whole barrel shows I'll see what a whole 25 minutes in and see I might, I, I might have to take and what I'm gonna have to do is show y'all generally how to do this and if you worry about doing an edge like I said keep keep it keep it on a flat surface and just do that but me I, I've seen it and polished so much stuff I know this 3000 is not going to do nothing for an edge just, just keep it on a flat edge and try to push with even pressure but I shit y'all not that my 23 with that polished barrel, man, it's smooth. And I also polished the trigger. When I, after I did it, I polished the trigger in it. And after you had one, if you have one, see, it, this is not standing that steel. It's it's doing nothing but polishing. And now I know somebody's like, God damn, dude, quit rambling. Just get with it. Polish the damn thing already. I can't help it. You can take this all different levels. You can sit in here and get uh, a real fine Dremel, and and you can also, you know, you can polish your little feed uh, ramp there and all. Hell, the locks feed good though. So, all right. I don't know. You probably can't tell, but there's a spot in there that is kind of bothering me. So I've, I've and and this is outside. It's doing nothing, right? It's got nothing but my serial numbers on it, but I do not want to degrade my serial numbers. So, but I would like to get just a little bit more of that out of it. So I'll sit here with my 2000 and go over it some more. I hope you can see this. back with my 3000 right side it's already looking like shiny see it's just how far you want to take it and then you start to get your polishes I'm always afraid I'm going to say the wrong thing or I, I tell you what it is when I'm doing the videos I, I'm always uh, I never get what I want to say in there. But hell, it's uh, it's 10 o'clock at night. I worked all day. And I got uh, some stuff. I got. There's some more. I would like to get this top a little bit better. A little bit more shiny. So, but in the gun, this top edge right here. As long as you don't mess with your locking breech in here. This top edge, you know. If you sound so much, you take your serial numbers out and and you're, you're 9 by 19 and stuff. See that? I'm gonna get rid of it. I don't know if you can see it or not. You don't want to sand that much. That would be crazy. You don't gotta do that to get the polish. All right. We got it right there. And hell, I mean hell. If I do something wrong, I will. I'll just just get me another. I'll get you another video. Whatever. I'm going to dry it off here once see what we got. It's still not up to level of that uh, 40. My, that old gun. It ain't too bad. I know the light in here actually sucks. Okay, and now, once we get to right there, and like I said, you feel really, really fine. The, the finer, you can't go too fine, but you can go too rough. Just real fine and, and, and work up to where you want it. And you ain't got to worry about it. But that vinegar, that distilled vinegar, 
It's only this is five percent. I couldn't find anything stronger. And they might be something if you research. They may be something that's better than this. But I found vinegar to work damn good on steel. That, and then you take. Uh, you get to this point right here. If you got a buffing wheel, awesome. Uh, throw some rouge on your buffing wheel and layer up, or and put the, the mega shine on it. Or you can you can take some mothers. Uh, I found this white diamond to be awesome on chrome and uh, stainless. That, and I'll take old. Uh, let's see what we got here. This is gonna be horrible. I'm thirty minutes in. This is gonna be like, oh god, god, this got a damn idiot. I can't help it. I want to show you how I do this, but I don't want to lead you in a wrong path. Okay, and I know ain't nobody gonna watch a 30 minute video. I got some guy with this damn gun barrel. He just gets hell, he skimmed through. Just say thanks. Just skim through what you need. And if, and if I left something out, hell yes, I, I try to get you all my comments, even if you hate me. That's true, I don't Hell, I like to see people comment. Okay, this is just some mothers. That, that 3,000 sandpaper, 3,000 grit, Ain't much more than this mother's. If a guy was determined, he could take a, a little bit, he could take the mother's and do what I did. It's not taking nothing off of it for us to steal. I mean, it would take you a hell of a long time, but you could.